Blade, you guys know I have been doing my best to cover Blade from the jump. You see the shirt. And just for anybody new that's watching, the reason why I have been so adamant about Blade is not because I just bet on black all the time. It's not because I'm also team black with House of the Dragon. It's because Blade, in my opinion, and I think it's also a fact, is the foundational reason the MCU even exists. Yes, a lot of y'all revisionists will go out there and be like, but it was Tony Stark. Tony Stark and Iron Man started it all. No, no, it didn't. I mean, technically, Tony Stark and, and Iron Man was the first movie. Yeah, but they didn't have that money if it was not for Blade and Wesley Snipes. So again, there would be no MCU if it was not for Blade. This is one of the reasons why I put so much respect on Blade because he is the foundation, okay? The day Walker had to walk so Tony Stark could fly, okay? Now with that said, we know that there have been a litany of problematic issues when it comes to Blade. Um, directors have come and gone, about two of them now. Writers have come and gone. The scripts have been boo-boo. They've had bad receptions. Um, we've heard terrible rumors about lackluster action or Blade not being the main character and all that stuff. But we we also heard, again, rumors and reports that Marvel tossed out all those bad scripts, started from scratch, got new writers, and they started to actually get back into the mix of things. All right. It was a little frustrating. It's been frustrating. I don't even say a little. It's been very frustrating because Blade was announced back in 2019 when Mahershala Ali came on stage at Comic-Con. And it's been five years. Five years and eight days since that time. And there had not been any official word until recently this week. Now, I'm not going to toot my own horn. But actually, I think I will. Because y'all know, as hard as I've been going for Blade and trying to make sure that we get some sort of something from Marvel, I put it out there in the universe. I put it out there. And, you know, listen, if any of my colleagues out there saw it, you know, need th thank you. Thank you. Because I want to say about two, three days after I posted my little clip where I said, like, yo, Marvel, you owe us some sort of explanation because all we've heard is this outlet or this rumor. And we ain't heard not one thing from anyone official. The closest we got was Mia Goth saying, oh, Marvel cares. OK, thank you, white scary lady. Goodbye. Then we heard Mahershala Ali say, like, you know, this was like two years ago or whatever. Uh, we're finally in the right place. We're going good. I'm happy. Okay. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that too, but I want to hear it from the head guy. I want to hear it from the person that's in charge of making decisions. Okay. I don't want to read these reports. I don't want to hear all these rumors. I want to hear it from the source. And we finally got some information from the source. So again, nobody has told me this, but I'm going to steal the credit. By spurring these journalists to actually talk about it. But we actually got three, three different mentions of, of Blade updates straight from Kevin Feige's mouth. And I'm going to give shout out to every one of these journalists that did that. So first off, we got this one here from Black Tree TV. Um, and uh, we finally got something. We got something. So this, I believe this is about blades rating blades official rating so here you go straight from kevin feige's mouth here we go to ask about how the duck that we brought it up but uh, you know like going back a, a little bit past that we we think about the history of marvel cinema and blade and it's been yeah. you know like a, a a challenge to bring any film to, to screen yep. but it's been a couple you know some years since you announced yes now that deadpool is going r-rated is it is it is it gonna with Disney, does, does it change how you can make Blade as, a, as opposed to when you first decided, started developing it? I think, I, I think that's right. I mean, for the last few years, as we've been trying to crack that movie, the most important thing for us is not rushing it 
and making sure we ha are, are making the right Blade movie because there were some great Blade movies years ago. They were all rated R. Yeah. Um, so I think that's, that's inherent, like Deadpool, inherent with the character of Blade. Yeah. Well, always. All right. So you heard it from Kevin Feige himself. Now, this whole idea of not rushing it. At least he understands that being rated R is something that is inherent with Blade. Get that. Um, because it's the same deal with, with Deadpool, right? Deadpool is rated R. It's always been rated R. Great. So I think it's safe for us to say that Blade will be rated R. Now, my man said he's not rushing it. Sir, sir, five years, five years. Yes, there was a writer strike. Yes, there was an actor strike. Yeah, I get, I'm not begrudging you for things that happen like that, but for five years, and you know why I say this? Because even when Blade was announced from that point on, there were movies that were announced after Blade that are now finally done filming. Thunderbolts was announced two, three years after Blade, and they're done shooting. You talking about you don't want it to be rushed? Sir, what? What? How is something that got announced after already done? So I, I, I take a little exception to this idea of not rushing it because it's like come on now what are you talking about but that's not all we still got some more we got another uh, um we got another uh interview question and i like this one a little bit more you know because my man you know he put it out there a little bit more i was like wait a minute now you're gonna have to explain these delays and kevin gives an interesting answer take a listen is it really as complicated behind the scenes? Like from the outside in, we're all kind of looking at it like, what's going on with that? But is it just, this is part of the process? It's part of the process. And when you have a character as famous as Blade and an actor as famous as Mahershala, um, everything that happens just gets a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure you've heard us talk about, we were struggling uh, finding the perfect reason for Deadpool to exist, the third yeah. Deadpool movie that MCU, and then Hugh Jackman called. Yeah. And it fell into place, yeah, yeah. right? Sometimes you need that magic thing that falls into place. Right. And sometimes it happens, uh, sometimes it takes a day, sometimes it takes two years, sometimes it, it takes 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's, but that's what you really should be waiting for until you make something. Sir? Blade, for, for those of y'all that don't know, Blade is a half human, half vampire character who goes around killing vampires. That's all. That's it. He run around the world killing vampires. What type of secret sauce? What kind of hocus pocus magic do you need to make a Blade movie? All three of them Blade movies were about the same damn thing. Blade meet vampires. Vampires meet Blade and his butt kicking knife wielding self. That's the movie. You let ten years. Ten years. You telling me that you need ten years potentially to make a Blade movie? Ten? It's already been five. Now I know Mahershala has the ability supposedly to um, have final script approval. I mean, listen, Mahershala is the one that wanted this. He's the one that called him up, which by the way, lets me know all the way up until 2019, y'all wasn't thinking about Blade at all. Y'all was about 10 years deep into the MCU and y'all didn't even think about Blade until Mahershala gave y'all a call and said, hey, I want to be Blade. Now, I like the fact, I do like the fact that Marvel, according to reports, have given 
Mahershala more power than they usually have given other actors. Usually other actors, they just sign on and you just got to do pretty much whatever, you know, the script is, whatever the director, you just got to go with it. But it, from the if the reports are true, it sounds like Mahershala actually has control and they could be like, hey, don't you want this movie where you don't even, you're not even the main character? And Mahershala could be like, nah, get that out my face. Hey, here's another script where we're going to introduce your daughter and she's going to take over the movie. Mahershala, no, no, get that out my face. So I do like the fact that Mahershala actually has some say in how this goes. But five years, it's starting to get ridiculous. There's, I'm sorry. While I liked Deadpool and Wolverine a whole lot, you cannot sit here and tell me that you couldn't have made another Deadpool movie without Wolverine. It would you you absolutely could have told the same Wolverine story or whatever, and we did not need Hugh Jackman. You literally could have put in another var. I mean, he was a variant anyway. You could have put in another variant Wolverine, and it would have been fine. You did not need Hugh Jackman for Deadpool and Wolverine. Did it help? Absolutely. Was it appreciated? Yes, by all means. I love the fact that he's back. But there's no reason you can sit here and tell me we can't make a Deadpool movie because Wolverine wasn't around. In the same way, I find it even harder to believe that you need some sort of magical, miraculous thing to happen for a Blade movie to happen. You know what did happen? You already got your miracle. You got a two-time Oscar award-winning actor to call you about a property that you didn't even have an intention to make. That was your magic right there. You have the magic. You have Mahershala Ali. Go make the movie. We have one more. And this is from um, Sister Sharonda. She uh, once again dropped the great question and it was about blade so shout out to her appreciate her getting this out there um and let's see what kevin had to say hold on let me get there we go let's see what kevin had to say one project that i'm still excited about is blade yes and i just i do want to know like are you still committed to making sure that it comes out and if so i mean i'm hope the answer is yes <laughs> but would you be open to actually seeing wesley come back and reprise like a version of that role the we are committed to to the movie and we're so committed to it that we're not going to make it until it's right which has been frustrating for us and for some fans as it's taken a, a while um but we have a writer working on it now i've read half of his new uh, draft and uh it's feeling good so far and would you be open for wesley returning wesley's the greatest wesley's great mahershala who's the one who came in four years ago, five years right. ago, and said, I want right. to play it, is, is what this new movie's about. I'm just greedy. I want a book, okay? <laughs> Look. All right. All right. Thank you, Sharonda, for that. So, for all those people that were saying the movie was not happening, clearly, it's still happening. I still disagree, and I, I, I'm sorry. I find it triggering that he's still saying for this basic movie, by the way, that you need something else to make this happen. But what frustrated me more in this interview, we know there have been delays. We know that there have been problems with the script. Matter of fact, when that first script came out, it took them, what, a year? It took them a year to find out that that script was boo-boo and to go get some different writers. It took them a year. Now, I gave Marvel a pass because I was like, you know what? Pandemic. Y'all got 50, 11 different things going on. Quality control is thin. I understand. It's not an excuse because it's still falling under your job, but I understand why it started to take longer. I got that. It was only reported, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month or so ago, maybe even earlier than that, that they had gotten a new writer. It was supposedly Michael Green, dude that did Logan. He also did uh, Blue Eye Samurai. 
And then they said that he moved on to another project, maybe Midnight Suns, maybe. But they brought in this other guy. I think it was Pearson or whatever. He did Black Widow. He did Thor Ragnarok. And he was going to polish it up. So this new guy that he's talking about gave him the new script. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you only halfway through with it? How long does it take you to read a script? Last I checked, outside of Deadpool, this is all y'all got going for this year. I think Agatha is coming out sometime later, but sir, you don't have the pandemic excuse on your plate no more. You have other help. You got other producing stuff. Why is it taking you this long to finish just the script? Halfway? Halfway? Bro, what, what are you doing? I'm just, I'm, again, I'm not saying that this should be something as deep as like Avengers 5 or Secret Wars. I get that. That might be very deep. I refuse to believe that Blade is any more complicated than what we got in Deadpool and Wolverine. And you only halfway? This is why I'm frustrated. This is why I'm frustrated because you tell me you care, which I appreciate that you tell me that, but I'm looking at your actions. Because something tells me if this was the Fantastic Four script, you'd be like, oh man, I went through it in a whole night. How long is it going to take you to get through the Blade script? Because if you find something that you don't like in Blade script, that means you're going to have to send it back to the writer. They're going to have to redo it. And then they, you're going to have to reread it all over again. And then when you finally get it perfect, after you haven't rushed, then you got to go find a director. And this is the part that I don't like. When you bring in another director, it's possible that the director might have issues with the script and the director might want to make some changes. And we still haven't even factored in the fact that we don't know what Mahershala wants. What if Mahershala don't like the script? Mahershala is 50 years old. I know black don't crack, but damn. So let me just say, I like the fact that we finally got something official for Blade. Do y'all realize it's been five years since we've gotten an official update for this? Five years. Just to get an update. I know some of you are going to ask me about this. And again, I'm going to make sure that um, we're going to keep this spoiler free. I did address an issue that is related to Blade that some of you are well aware of. And I did mention it on um, Just My Opinions spoiler review. Uh, we did talk about it. I ranted for a little bit. Um, I might post that clip here later on, but I have very mixed opinions about what was said. I'm not obviously going to go into it, um, but there were some things I liked and there were some things I found very troubling. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. I'm not sure if Just My Opinions already posted his spoiler review yet, um, but if you have seen it, feel, or if you haven't seen it, feel free to go check that out. But for those of you that have a certain question for me about how I felt about how, a certain thing that was said in the movie, um, you can go see it over there, and I'll post it later uh, for you guys here as well. Anyway, what do you think about this official Blade update from Kevin Feige? We find out that it is going to be rated R. We found out that they are not rushing it, but they care. Uh, we also found out that he is looking for something um, special, magical about that. Um, and um, he's only halfway through the script. Okay. Whatever you think, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.
Thank you so much for watching. This was just the segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.